Oil changes seem simple. Drain the old, pour the new, drive away. But here's what mechanics won't tell you. According to a 2024 SAE International study, 37% of premature engine failures trace back to mistakes made within 72 hours after an oil change. Not bad oil, not worn parts. Post-change procedure errors. Most drivers think they're being careful, but between the drain pan and the highway. Eight invisible mistakes are destroying piston rings, bearing surfaces, and valve seals with zero warning lights. What you're about to learn is verified by automotive engineers, backed by lab data, and happens every single day. Let's decode the eight deadliest mistakes. Mistake eight, the hidden double gasket Grenade 1 in 12 DIYers plants this bomb without ever knowing. When you spin off the old filter, its rubber gasket sometimes decides to stay glued to the engine instead of riding away on the filter. A thin film of oil hides it perfectly. You screw on the new filter, and now you have two gaskets stacked like pancakes. Neither one can seal. At first, you just notice a few innocent drops under the car in the morning. By 200 miles, it's a puddle. By 500 miles, the bearings are screaming from low oil pressure. Real-world example. A 2022 Honda Accord lost 2.3 quarts in under 400 miles because of this exact stacked gasket failure. Total engine replacement. Fix. After you pull the old filter, grab a rag and wipe the mounting surface until it shines. Then run one clean finger around the ceiling area. If you feel a sneaky rubber ring still stuck there, peel it off. Two seconds of your life versus a $4,000 engine. Mistake 7. Draining ice-cold oil and leaving poison behind. Cold oil is lazy, thick, and clingy. At normal garage temperature, around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 5W, 30 is roughly 11,000 centipoise, basically molasses. When you drain it cold, you're lucky to get 75% out. The other 25% stays plastered to cylinder walls, oil galleries, timing chains, and the pickup tube screen. That leftover sludge instantly contaminates your brand new synthetic the second you pour it in. Valvoline's 2023 used oil analysis study showed engines drained cold had 18% more silicon, iron, and carbon contamination in the very next sample. Solution, start the car and let it idle 5 to 7 minutes until the oil hits at least 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Viscosity crashes to 1, 200 CP and flows like water. You'll actually see it. Cold oil crawls out black and sluggish. Hot oil gushes out almost clear and fast. That's the difference between changed and actually clean. Mistake six, the half quart overfill that foams your engine to death. Too much oil is just as deadly as too little, and most people have no idea why. The crankshaft spins thousands of RPM only millimeters above the oil level. Add even half a quart extra, and the spinning counterweights start whipping the oil into chocolate milk foam, aeration. Foam is not a lubricant. Air bubbles collapse instantly under bearing loads leaving metal grinding on metal. Bosch's 2021 study found overfilled engines suffered 340% faster bearing, where in just 5,000 miles. You also blow out seals and flood the crankcase with pressure. Rule, add oil in one half quart shots. Wait 60 seconds for it to settle. Check on level ground and stay between the min and max marks. Never round up. Mistake five, starting the engine with a bone dry new filter. Brand new filters ship completely empty. The moment you hit the key, the oil pump has to fill that filter plus all the upper galleries before pressure reaches the camshaft and lifters. Those first three to eight seconds are pure starvation. The University of Michigan Tribology Lab, 2020, proved dry starts cause up to 60% of an engine's total lifetime, where even though they re less than 2% of running time. Fix. Prefill the new filter with clean oil until the pleats are soaked usually two-thirds full. Smear a thin film on the gasket too. Instant pressure on startup equals dramatically less wear. Mistake four, skipping the post-start dipstick recheck you pour in five quarts, everything looks perfect on the stick, you fire it up and drive off. Congratulations, you just ran your engine a quart low without realizing it. A typical spin-on filter holds 0.5 to 1.2 quarts. On first startup, the pump sucks all of that out of the pan to fill the filter and upper oil galleries. Your full mark just dropped a full quart. API data shows running just 0.8 QT low cuts oil pressure 12 to 19%, depending on RPM. That's the fast lane to spun bearings. Always start the engine 
Idle 60 to 90 seconds. Shut off. Wait 3 full minutes. Recheck. Top up if needed. Takes 2 minutes. Saves the motor. Mistake 3. Installing the filter with a dry O-ring. That little black rubber ring is the only thing keeping 6 quarts of 50 PSI hot oil off your driveway. Installing it dry is asking for trouble. Dry rubber against metal creates massive friction while you hand tighten. Parker Hannafin seal data shows localized temperatures can spike past 220 degrees Fahrenheit, causing microscopic cuts and tears in the rubber. Those tears stay invisible until the first heat cycle. Then they open into full-blown leaks. Fix. One finger dipped in fresh oil, one swipe around the entire gasket. That's it. Lubricated seal equals perfect compression, zero tears, zero leaks. Mistake 2. Turning the drain plug into a thread stripping party, most drain plugs go into soft aluminum pants. The bolt is steel. Guess which one wins when you go full Hulk on the ratchet? Ford, Toyota, GM. Almost every manufacturer specs 25 to 30 FTLB max. Go past that and you permanently deform the aluminum threads. Once they're ovalized, they'll never seal again without a heli coil or new pan. If you don't have a torque wrench, hand tighten until the crush washer flattens, then give it another one quarter turn. No more. The washer seals it, not your forearms. Mistake one. Ignoring the oil life monitor like it's just a suggestion, this is the single biggest engine killer on the list, and it has nothing to do with the oil change itself. Modern oil life algorithms aren't simple odometers. They measure actual oil degradation using driving style, temperature cycles, cold starts, fuel dilution, and total base number, TBN, depletion in real time. When the light comes on, your oil has chemically lost the ability to neutralize acids. Blackstone Labs 2023 report, driving just 2,000 miles past the OLM causes 31% viscosity loss and 340% higher iron wear. That's metal shavings, not still good. When the computer says change it, change it. That little dashboard light knows your engine better than you do. There you have it. The eight invisible mistakes that quietly destroy millions of dollars in engines every year. Which one have you been guilty of? Drop your car make and model below. Let's see who's been living on borrowed time. And if you want the brutal truth about 0W, 20 versus 5W, 30 from 50 back-to-back -back dyno teardowns, the video is on screen right now. This isn't scare tactics. This is engineering. Drive safe.